Welcome back to the first listen, first album, first song. That's right, today we are doing Sabotage. You're going to say, Shane, let me bend you over and spank your bare ass. You've never heard Sabotage, the first album, Sirens? No, I have not. Today we're doing the song Sirens from Sirens from Sabotage. I would have jumped on at the 1987-ish album, Hall of the Mountain King. That's where I said, hot damn, I'm a Sabotage fan. I did see Sabotage live. They came with victims of uh, 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 vicious rumors and um, a band called Dead End, I want to say they were called. I'd love to find them again uh, if they're on the interweb somewhere. Uh, but uh, um, the only reason I remember that is because I had the guitar pick, Dead End guitar pick from that band. Uh, but uh, So today we're going to listen to the song Sirens from Sabotage. Um, so let's learn about this mighty, fantastic, wonderful band, and then we'll get into that song. Sound good? Let's do that now. They have 199,781 monthly listeners to the Spotify account. Top five jams. Um, the, uh, can you guess? In the hall of the Mountain King is the number one track. 5,634,052 plays on that. And then, um, I do remember the song because it was on the radio. It might have been the first time that they really got some huge radio play. Edge of Thrones. Um, with 4,193,000 plays, you got When the Crowds Are Gone. That's from Gutter Ballet. I know that song. 1.7 million plays. I really got into the album uh, 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 Street... Street uh, uh, Jesus was a walker just out of state New York, and he hung out in the boulevards. Street, we'll get into that. We'll figure out. But the number four track there would be Believe from that. Uh, 1.5 million plays. And then from Gutter Ballet, uh, Summer's Rain, 1 million plays. I wasn't, a, uh, I don't remember a lot of Gutter Ballet either. Uh, Hall of the Mountain King was just, I mean, track after track after track. But since we're here, let's get into the albums. Um, Streets, a rock opera. That's the one I was trying to think of. Uh, so you got Sirens, 1983. And of course, they were called what? Trafalgar? What were they called before? Avatar. I think they were called Avatar before they became Sabotage. Sirens, 1983. That is the album that we're doing today with the song Sirens. You got Power of the Night, 1985. You got Fight for the Rock. I do remember vaguely some stuff from 1986's Fight for the Rock. Then, of course, The Masterpiece. Hall of the Mountain King, 1987. Then you've got Gutter Ballet, 1990. That's when I saw them. I do believe it was on the Gutter Ballet album that I saw them. Streets of Rock Opera, I knew that hand, hand to foot, foot, foot to mouth. I knew every single song on that. Uh, some are very uh, quirky and uh, silly and uh, ass-clenching would be, might, might, might be a word you'd use. But uh, Edge of Thorns. Um, that's, of course, without John or Chris in it, right? Or they're in the background and they've got a new singer and stuff because uh, I think Chris died uh, shortly around this time, right? Then you got Handful of Rain, which we actually did that as a first listen, the song Handful of Rain. Uh, Live in Japan, 1995, Dead Winter Dead, Ghost in the Ruins, The Wake of Magellan, uh, Poets and Mad Men, uh, 2001. Wow. I sure do wish John would do some more stuff with him again, but uh, I, he's off doing something else, isn't he? Uh, John uh, Oliva. I always call him Olivia, and people get pissed. But I'm going to call him Olivia, because that's just the way I say it. John Olivia's Pain. Uh, we're looking into the uh, related artist now. John Olivia's Pain. Uh, Halford. Virgin Steel, we have done them on the first listens. Crimson Glory, we have done a reaction video to them. Fate's Warning, we have done them on the first listens. Uh, Armored Saint, uh, yeah, I think we have done them on the first listens. A new single that they put out, Sanctuary. I saw them live too. World Dane, fantastic. Iced Earth, uh, Queen's Reich, you got, uh, uh, of course, the Geoff Tate and then the Todd Latour years. Running Wild, uh, mentioned them a thousand times. Vicious Rumors, um, and Heaven and Hell, which would have been the Black Sabbath with Dio, right? And uh, let's see what we've got here. We've got an image, uh, yes. Uh, and this is not the band that I would normally uh, know, but it's four fellas, and they look to be next to a farm silo of some kind. 
um, and they're just saying, hey, come back here and have a cig with us, man. Uh, we're hiding from, from Uncle, Uncle uh, Albert. Uh, over 20 years and 11 albums and hundreds of performances around the globe, Sabotage may have never achieved the arena-level success of its sister group, Trans-Siberian Orchestra, yes. Uh, but the band's dynamic music, uh, which mixes elements of thrash, power metal, progressive metal, and classic hard rock with influence as div diverse as classical music, rock opera, and historical fiction, earned the band a passionate cult following. I would agree with that. And their influence continues to reverberate both locally and internationally. Yes, I don't know the ins and outs of all the Trans-Siberian uh, Orchestra stuff, but I do know that they're involved in it, or John Olivia Olive, Oliva is, um, is part of that. Oh, well, let's just read this here. Uh, founded in Tampa, Florida by brothers John and Chris Oliva. Um, Sabotage saw their many musical triumphs overshadowed by personal tragedy. While albums such as the 1987's Hall of the Mountain King, their first of eight collaborations with late producer and creative mentor Paul O'Neill and 1991's riveting Streets, a rock opera, continued to be celebrated to this day. The death of Chris Oliva uh, on the heels of the breakthrough success 1993's Edge of Thorns altered the group's trajectory considerably. So there you have that. Rest in peace, dear sweet, sweet sir. Great guitar player, fantastic fellow, I am sure. Oh, I'm sure. I don't think anyone's going to say a bad word about him. So now what we do is we go to that first album, that 1983 album, and we click that, and we go down here. When was that released? Um, if this is correct, April 11th, 1983. 35 minutes, 39 seconds long, and we are going to listen to the song Sirens from the album Sirens. If you're ready, I'm ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Here's the magic nipple. Takes us into the world of sabotage. I give you a taste. I take a big taste. We listen to the song together. This will be my first time. This will be maybe not your first time. Here we go. Sirens. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's those chords. Those delightful... Uh, It's already starting out perfectly for me, Sabatashi. Yeah. Yeah, there's the voice in there. I need to listen to this whole album. Yeah. This is everything that, this is the same vibe and feel of Hall of the Mountain King. Why wasn't I paying attention to this shit?
I mean, yeah. Sorry. There we go. See how they go. Yeah. Five Michelin stars. That's what you want to hear from Sabotage. I'm almost embarrassed now that I've never heard that before. I mean, what a shame. What a shame to waste 30 years of your life. Holocaust. I mean, it's got everything there that Hall of the Mountain King, I mean, I would say that Hall of the Mountain King is just a little bit more refined as far as the sound, and he's got his voice, and ah, 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 and all that stuff, but it is everything delightful that, uh, that, uh, that I've never listened to. I'm almost kind of sad with myself that it's been this long before I've this. I will listen to that entire album. And then I may just keep going up the ladders of the albums because, like I said, I started at Hall of the Mountain King and kind of went up. Uh, and I liked everything that had uh, both the brothers in it. But now I need to go back and listen to that stuff that I've been missing. But what say you? Most important part of my video is nothing that I've said there. Absolutely nothing. Sh shaming myself. Hashtag shaming myself. Um, it's what you thought of that. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, let me tell you everything you need to know about those three albums that you were so stupid, stupidly uh, neglecting for all these years. Have you ever seen Sabotage Live? What's your favorite song pre, or, uh, yeah, pre Hall of the Mountain King? Is Sirens your favorite album? Uh, how many times have you seen them live? Have you ever met them? Did you ever meet Chris? I would be interested in hearing any stories like that. Or you could say, not good, not great. Shane, it rocked me too right, too tight, too delicious. Sabotage are gods among men. and uh, But for some strange, weird reason, it's not my cup of tea and I'll have no more of that. All of that can be put in the comments below if you don't mind. If you have a hard rock, heavy metal special request, you'd like to see it right here on the channel, we can do that easy, bro. Easy. Click that link in the description below and we'll do it in your honor with thumbsy upsies to you. That's all I got for this. Sabotage.